Hey guys, what is up? It's your boy Azure Soul, and today we're going to be talking about the character Kuki Shinobu. Now, if you don't know who she is, then go check out my last video where we spoke about the announcement of the Elan and Kuki Shinobu in that video. Um, I want to talk today because I have a fun little theory for you guys that I think you might be interested in if you're interested in the law of Genshin. If you're not, it still might be some food for thought. So let's get right into it. Kuki Shinobu is a member of the Arataki gang and she joined at a later stage, but she managed to transform the whole gang for like the better. She managed to transform it for the better. Um, they managed to get more odd jobs and shit. She busts them out of jail every time Mito gets arrested, uh, stuff like that. And um, she just seems like a pretty cool character. She's a ninja, first of all, she's a ninja. So, you know, I'm a weeb, I'm loving it. Um, She's Electro, which I was surprised. I didn't think she would be, but she is. That's what she is. We're going to see what happens with all that. Um, so let's get down to the nitty gritty. If you look at this image of Shinobu, you will see right here, her pupils are vertical. And if you compare that official art with any other character in Genshin, no other character in Genshin has vertical pupils other than the one character we just met in the recent event, Sumi. Now, I don't have footage, so I can't show on screen. Now, at the end of that event, we had found out that the Orobashi no Mikoto created familiars with his power back in the day. And they were known as the vassals of Watatsumi. And they were born into a line, well, they basically became a line of shrine maidens. And one thing we do know about Kuki Shinobu from the things various characters have to say about her in the game is that she is from a family of shrine maidens and that her sister Miyuki works as a shrine maiden at the moment. Now, the interesting thing about this is the official Genshin account did post two pieces, important pieces of information about Shinobu. And that is one, do not attempt to find out how she looks under her mask. And two, don't ask why she has to steer clear of the Grand Narukami Shrine every time she heads out for a job. Now that we just cleared that up. Her sister is Miyuki, right? She's her older sister. The other one, why? Why does she wear that mask? As dope as it looks, why does she wear it? Does she ever take it off? Does she maybe have fangs? Maybe it isn't just eyes, maybe they have fangs. Maybe these snake people also have fangs and we just didn't see them on Sumi. It's very interesting and a very, it's left me for some food, food for thought. I really hope that whether she gets a character story or a hangout, whether lore she's going to get in 2.7, I really hope that it relates to that and we find out a bit more about that because there's no way, I mean, look at this man. Her pu pupils, nah, pupil. her pupils are vertical. There's no, you can't deny that. And Kokomi just told us the only people that had those pupils were the vassals of Watatsumi. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what she's all about. One, she's a ninja, so I'm going to get her anyway. But that's it. That's all for today, guys. It was just a short little video. I wanted to talk about Shinobu. I hope you guys are looking forward to her um, as much as I. But she's the Arataki gang, man. We gotta get her. We gotta build up the gang, man. We gotta. Hopefully, they have some more members we don't know about, man. That'd be so cool. We just have a full squad of four Arataki gang niggas. Like, that would be so sick. I'm sorry. That would be amazing. But anyway, thank you for coming through. It was a short one today. And have yourselves a good one, guys.